After a killer loss to the San Francisco 49ers here in the final minutes of the game, the final minute, if you will, um, completely my fault. If you guys watched the last episode, I celebrated too early and anticipated a different type of celebration and not one where he stops and uh, is uh, left exposed and he fumbles. We don't lose the football. It was a bad play. It really was not my best moment. But I will say, our team is bad. So, okay, we're the three and six now. And we play the three and six Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're still five overall points behind them, which is real sad. What I will say, for the sake of the advancement of this series, this is a very important episode. Very important. Very important. I am going to be playing the moments up until like maybe week 14 or week 15. I might even do like the full thing. This is going to be a very, very important episode. And um, we're going to be playing the moments, trying to get through this first season so we can get to the off season and uh, have a little bit more to work with. And I think it's going to be a lot more fun. So sorry if you want me to play every game and rage at the game. I want to have a better team. I need to go into rebuilding mode to do that. And I need the off season. I need free agency to bring in players. I need to be able to trade players. I need the draft. A lot of things are going to happen in this episode. A lot of games, maybe. We'll see. Here we go. Bucks, Giants. Not sure how much of this game we're going to play. But uh, MetLife sure is looking nice today. All right. Red zone alert. Jump in. Score some points. I'm down. You guys know me in the red zone. The picture of efficiency. Tampa Bay has already turned over the football. How'd they do that? There's Evan Ingram. We have time. It's picked off. Wow. Keith Tandy. What a play. All right. That sucked. All right. High scoring affair so far. We're down 10 0. 10 0. It's a, uh, it's a weird score. Regardless, though, let's try to get some points up on the board before halftime. We're going to go for Evan Ingram this time. We're going to get the completion across as Eli Manning already has thrown two interceptions. Maybe it's not just me. Maybe Eli actually isn't a stud quarterback. We're going to go to Evan Ingram, though. That's got to be a touchdown. Evan Ingram over the top, burns him with the speed. You love to see it. 50 yards to the house. We're in, we're in the third quarter now. Saquon Barkley will be the running back. We'll see if we can score. Just need a block or two. Try to cut that back with one cut. Eight rushes for 25 yards. Saquon really easily. Like, we're not effective in this series. I think we need better run blockers. Snap the ball. Don't wait for him to get set. Just snap the ball. Oh my God, he's not running. What is this game? I'm double tapping R2. I'm complaining from the get-go. That's an easy touchdown there. He just doesn't run. Uh, like, why are you not running? I don't understand. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because they don't want me to. They don't want me to win. That's an easy touchdown. We're going for it on fourth down. Saquon is actually averaging like two yards per carry. There, I can't run on this front. I'm going to pass the ball. Hopefully something gets open. It's going to be Odell Beckham Jr. I'll take the touchdown. It's been a while since he's actually been in the end zone, I feel. All right, big third down for us. Third and three, nine minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. And I will be trying once again to run the football. How effective will I be? Evidently, at least a little bit. It's not a bad game, but 14 rushes for 42 yards is not incredible. This should be an easy first down. Second and one, Saquon Barkley. Weak defense. I didn't really juke the right way, but we got the first down. There we go, Saquon Barkley. Dude, where did you come from? How did you make that tackle? That's very annoying. I wanted the touchdown with Saquon. We got this touchdown here. This easy touchdown. We got blocking. It's unbelievable I'm not getting into the end zone here. It really is. There we go. 
Saquon Barkley, touchdown, gets a shimmy on a little bit. And uh, we're going to retake the lead. Dude, but it, it's like a lot of times I feel like they just don't want me out here winning. It sucks. There's Odell, though, over the middle. Easy pickup. Third and two. We're going to run the stretch here. We have blocking to that side. I know it really doesn't look like it, but we do. How are you going to call me down when I'm up? Is, is anyone else watching this? I feel like I'm going insane. He's on his feet, and they blow the they whistle it dead. Like that wasn't forward progress. He's still moving. There's Red Ellison. He's gonna fumble the ball, crossing the goal line. It's a touchback. I hate this game a lot. All right, pressure, Winston is a big success. It's Dante Dion who uh, who actually sacks Jameis Winston there. And uh, we're going to probably still dial up the pressure a little bit. Now nah, we're actually going to rush three. The screen. Did I read that well enough? They're going to throw it anyway? What the fuck is going on? Ha! I was in man on the running back there, and I left him to go cover somebody else's receiver. I think that was William Gay who couldn't cover worth anything. And um, it's no good when that happens. The ball's loose. Ball's loose. Eli Apple with a huge fumble recovery. Or forced fumble. William Gay gets it. That should be the ball game. We need a first down and we ice it. Or a touchdown. How about both? There's Saquon. There's a little Saquon Barkley action. Takes six yards. Halfback dive on third and four. Um, yeah, this is just this is a lot of fun. We're going to take the field goal, but it means they still have a chance. It's going to be 24-17. Touchdown would tie the game. Oh, damn. How we get the football back? How did that just happen? I don't know. We're, we're going to check the stats at the end of the game so you guys know. And so I know. Really as well. And that's... Do you see that shed? I know that's Evan Ingram, who is not exactly a run-blocking tight end by definition. Very bad run blocker. But as soon as you hit turbo, it's an instant shed by the linebacker. It's just... It's instantaneous. And I can't get to the outside there. Who made that tackle? It was 51. Is that Kendall Beckwith? Mm. Field goal is going to extend our lead even more. 27 to 17, and that is the ball game. What an interesting one. Uh, I mean, even in simulation, Saquon Barkley is still terrible somehow. I don't, I don't really understand that. But I think defensively, we're pretty sound. I, I hate to watch these. Can I just see the stats? Thank you. I don't care about the screenshots of the game that I didn't see. So Eli Manning was surprisingly okay. Now, 22 for 28, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Not where you want, but it's okay. Saquon averaged two and a half on the ground. It's just it's just terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. I don't understand. I need to increase that, uh, that offensive line at some point. Mike Evans performed all right as far as touchdowns go. Uh, we had Odell Beckham Jr. and Evan Ingram both had one. I think you guys saw those as well. Nate Stoller was the only one on our team that let up a sack. Defensively, Alec Ogletree had 14 tackles. Tackles for loss. Not too many, but Damon Harrison had two sacks. Dante Dion was the only one on our entire team who got pressure. Sacks, Eli, or excuse me, interceptions. Eli Apple had two. Janoris Jenkins had one. What a weird game. Eli Apple forced to fumble. And uh, William Gay had a recovery. No defensive touchdowns. I'm like, I'm losing my mind with this series, though. Just with the way it plays. Gameplay to me, it's just not, not that fun. I don't know if you guys have experienced the same. But it's like, I can't run the ball. I don't have time. It sucks, dude. That's, yeah, that's a terrible offensive line, I guess. Ooh, plus two spin. That's what I like to see. We're getting there. 88 spin move. I'm about to be spinning and winning all day.
Uh, all right, so basically I'm back and I had my mic muted. I had my mic muted for the entire second part of that, which sucks pretty bad. So we ended up simulating to the playoffs. We went six and 10. I'm not gonna show any of the awards or anything right now. That's gonna be for another episode. So this is kind of a weird end to the first season. I played the moments and had some cool things happen, but uh, I didn't have my mic turned on. I had it muted on OBS. So I'm sorry about that. That actually does suck, but it's, you know, less editing for me, so I'm always in favor of that. But, um, basically, I will show you guys the stats and everything. We're going to do an entire off-season stream live on Twitch. There will be an edited version coming on the channel later, or, or the full thing, probably, and then maybe edit it if I can. Might not be able to, but I am going to be streaming the off-season. If you guys would like to be potentially impacting the decision-making, things of that nature, um... Twitch.tv slash Bengal. Make sure to turn on post notifications for Twitch and YouTube. I'll be posting a video when I'm going live. I'll be posting on Twitter, twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. The links are in the description for everything you're going to need. It was a rocky first season, as you would have heard me say if my mic was turned on. Um, but it was it was fun overall. We're only going to go up from here. It's, it's an uphill battle, but we're going to have a very, very big off season. We're going to be trading players. We're going to be getting some fresh faces out of here. Nate Solder is killing me all right we're going to improve the entire offensive line we're going to improve the defense we're going to upgrade players it's going to be a huge off season for signings trades drafts it's going to be gigantic so make sure stay ready for that it'll be on the channel if you don't want to watch the stream but other than that guys thank you for watching i will see you in the next one take it easy